Hi there, and welcome to another assembly video for our L-shaped staining desk, the Corner Riser. Today, we'll take you step-by-step step through putting this desk together, ensuring you can start using your new desk as soon as possible. Firstly, unpack the box and lay all the components out in front of you. Next, you're gonna separate the end frames to locate the center rails inside. You may need to remove the control box from one of the frames. It's as easy as sliding it and taking it right out. And continue to pull apart the frame ends to reveal the center rails inside. We're gonna do the same thing for the other set. Next, you're gonna attach one of the legs to the crossbar using four machine screws. These are the M6 x 10 machine screws. Just grab the leg, put it into the frame, and ensure that the crossbar has the brackets facing down for now. This will be the part that touches your tabletop. It may be easier to take the frame and set it on its side so you can line up the holes properly. When attaching the machine screws to each leg, insert them just partially until all of them are inserted. Then you can go back and retighten everything. Now that all four screws are inserted, I'm gonna go back and retighten everything. We're gonna repeat this process for all three legs. Again, you're gonna have the crossbars facing in this direction. This is where you'll be attaching your tabletop. Again, just partially inserting each screw, just so all the holes line up and that it can be tightened evenly. All right, that's two down, one more to go. Now for the last leg, you're gonna choose one of the frames that has multiple holes on it. The other frame is gonna be used for the support leg. This will attach the third leg to the main frame, giving a three leg design. And now going back to retighten everything. Once you're done, you're gonna grab your side bracket here there will be the two holes right here. And insert it just through the back. This will slide right into place. So it's gonna be two of the M6 by 14 machine screws here. All the machine screws will be using the same Allen wrench that's included with your standing desk. And tighten them just enough with your hands. And then once both machine screws are inserted, go back and tighten it with the Allen wrench. We're gonna repeat this process for the other two legs. Again, taking a side bracket, placing it into the frame end, and then sliding it right in. And then going back and tightening it up. All right, one more to go. Next, you're gonna slide center rails into one of the frames. This will be at this point here. When inserting the center rails, you want to ensure the gap is on the inside and also closer to the top edge. It's going to be the same thing for the opposite side. Once you have the center rails inserted into the first frame, grab the other frame piece that has multiple holes on it. This will be the main desk frame. Just grab the second frame, line it up with the center rails, and push the two halves together. Next, you're gonna attach the third supporting frame onto the main frame. This will be the frame end piece that you haven't used yet. We're gonna be attaching the supporting frame onto the main frame that has multiple holes here. You can choose where you'd like to install it. If you have a larger tabletop, you're gonna extend it all the way to the edge. This will give you a large working space. We're gonna put ours just about in the middle. We're gonna attach the supporting frame onto the main frame using the M6 x 10 machine screws. You can tighten them just enough with your hands, and then again, going back with the Allen wrench to tighten them up. After you install the supporting frame onto the main frame, we're gonna install the last two center rails onto the end here. And just like the main frame, ensure that the gap is on the inside and closer to the top edge. And finally, bridge the third leg onto those center rails. Again, line up the center rails with the frame and slide the two pieces together. From here, we're gonna insert center rail hardware into the four main pieces here. We'll be using the M6 x 10 machine screws. And here, we're just tightening it enough with our hands. Later, when the frame is on the tabletop, we'll be able to finally adjust the frame width and then lock it down using the Allen wrench. After all the center rail hardware is installed, we're gonna go ahead and install all the feet onto each leg. Each foot will have pre-installed glides, which makes it easy if you have any uneven surfaces. So from here, 
I'm just gonna line up the foot with the end of the desk leg, and line up the holes, and we'll be attaching four M6 by 14 machine screws onto each leg. We're just gonna insert each screw until it's about thumb tight. Then we're gonna go back and tighten everything in a cross pattern. This will ensure that all machine screws are evenly tightened and it's secure to the frame leg. We'll repeat this process for the last two legs. We'll connect all three legs to the control box. So we're gonna take the control box here and slide it next to the center leg. Ensure the ports for each leg is facing the center leg. These will have brackets to slide the control box right into. The corner riser comes with two additional extension cables, the AC25. These cables provide four and a half feet for the outside legs to reach the control box. There's gonna be three ports, one for each leg. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into, but just ensure that all of them are securely fastened into the control box. The corner riser also comes with these adhesive cable ties. Installation is easy. Just place the cables into the cable tie, grab the buckle, slide it through, and pull it tight. This will keep these cables under control. We recommend getting two additional people to help flip the frame over. At this point, we'll be connecting the remote control as well as the AC power. Afterwards, we'll put the tabletops and raise them so we can attach them to the frame. Take the included remote and plug it into the HS port. When plugging it in, you should hear a slight click. This will ensure that it's firmly secured to the control box. Take the AC power cord and plug it into the AC port on the control box. This will be opposite side where all the legs have connected to. Now that everything is connected to the control box, we'll be placing the tabletops onto the frame and raising the frame and secure both tabletops to each other using the included brackets. Ensure that the tabletops are centered on the frame and then we can begin raising the frame. Take the remote control and press the up button. This will raise the desk, allowing you to better reach and fasten the tabletops to the frame. Use the included tabletop hardware that comes with all progressive desk tabletops this will be compatible with the pre-drilled threaded holes on each tabletop, making installation even easier for yourself. If you've chosen the two tabletop configuration, we'll be including these brackets. This will bind each tabletop together to give you a perfect seamless tabletop experience. Each bracket set comes with two brackets along with a set of self-tapping wood screws. This will make installation very easy. For this process, we recommend using a power drill. You'll be placing each bracket just on the seam of the tabletops. Align the hand remote along the edge of your tabletop and screw it into place using the ST5 by 15 screws. We have a bunch of tabletop grommets and accessories for your tabletops. Here we have a tabletop grommet for the square tabletop, as well as a round tabletop grommet for our other smaller sizes. This is an AC power grommet. It comes with two AC power outlets, two USB ports as well. Installing the AC grommet is easy. Just place it through the hole and you'll be threading the ring right onto the backside. This will keep it secure to your tabletop. For the final step before you start using your standing desk, you must complete the reset procedure using the hand remote. Press and hold the down button until ASR appears on the screen and then release the down button. And then again, press and hold the down button until the desk fully retracts and then bumps up just a little bit. This will indicate that the reset procedure has been completed. You can now set your sitting and standing heights. Do this by pressing the up button to your preferred height. Afterwards, you can press the M for memory and choose either one, two, three, or four. So if I go to a different height and I wanna return back to that same height I just set, go ahead and press number one. This is where I've saved my height. You're now ready to sit and stand at your very own progressive desk. If you need any further help with assembling your corner riser, our customer support team will be glad to help. Don't forget to subscribe to see more smart furniture and workspace ergonomics content. Thanks for watching.